and we'll just come to a nice easy seat on our mats. We'll start with some breathing, so hand on the heart and hand on the belly. And on the inhale, we'll fill up the lungs. And on the exhale, we'll release. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. 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 Big inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. Return to a normal breath. And just go ahead and release the hands down to the knees. We'll take some trunk rolls. Leaning forward, we're going to make a circular motion with the body. And then just go the other way as well. And then inhale the arms up, exhale, bring them down, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, and we'll twist to the left, right hand on the knee, left hand back behind us, twist and gaze over the left shoulder, inhale, back up, exhale, twist to the right, let the left hand rest on the knee, Gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale up. And on the exhale, release the hands out in front and just let the head drop, folding over the legs. And then rise up and we're just going to come into an all fours position. And from here, we'll curl the toes under and lift the hips up and back for our first down dog. And we're just going to move around a little here, maybe pedaling the feet, lowering one heel closer to the floor. You just want to find some kind of movement. Maybe you roll forward into plank and then come back into down dog. Maybe rocking the hips from one side to the other. Eventually finding stillness here in the down dog. And then we'll walk our hands all the way back to the feet. And just fold over the legs. Go ahead and bend the knees. Relax the head and neck. You can shake your head yes and no if that feels good. Just lift through the sitting bones and just fold over those legs. And look forward, walk your hands forward back into down dog and just step the feet forward and come to a seat. We're gonna prepare for our core workout so we'll come onto our backs. Maybe just hug the knees in and take a gentle rock left to right. And then roll yourself up and back a few times just to massage the spine. And then rolling up to a seat, we'll prepare for our boat pose by lifting the knees into the chest. Arms are gonna be outstretched or you can support beneath the knees with the hands. Lift the heart and lift the chin. Try not to lean too far back. And breathe. 
in and out through the nose. We'll rest those feet down. And then come right back into that boat pose. And this time we'll make it a little harder. And on the inhale, we're gonna lower into a low boat, keeping the chin lifted. Exhale, boat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. And then if you want, you can make it harder by straightening the legs. And then release the feet down and we're just going to roll all the way onto the back. And go ahead and just Extend the legs up, we'll roll the ankles in one direction and then the other. And then we're gonna flex the ankles and point the toes. And then we're gonna release the lower back down to the floor. So we wanna create no space between the back and the floor as we lower the legs down on the inhale and exhale, lift them back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And if you want to make it harder, lift the head and lift the arms. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And then hug the knees back into the chest. ourselves up to a seat and then come back into that downward facing dog. And from down dog, drop the knees down. Inhale, look up, let your belly drop. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, look up, belly drops. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. And then we'll just neutralize the spine, separate the knees wide, sit back onto the heels, child's pose. And this is a great position if you just need to take a break at any time during the practice. And curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Come up high on the tippy toes and just tippy toe those feet all the way up to the top of the mat. Look forward, flatten the back, and then exhale, fold over those legs. Inhale, rise all the way up, bring the palms to press, and then exhale the hands to the heart, down by the sides. Inhale, up, exhale, fold. Inhale, a halfway lift, hands on the shins, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Palms press, exhale, hands to heart, down by the sides. Inhale all the way up, big stretch, take a back bend if it feels good, and exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, bring the palms to press, exhale, hands to heart, down by the sides. Inhale up, maybe that back bend, exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Bring those palms to press. Exhale to the heart and down by the sides. Inhale, up. Stretch and reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Bring those palms to press and exhale the hands to the heart and down by the sides of the body. And we'll just take a moment here to breathe and catch our breath and settle down control the breath in and out through the nose inhale reach the arms up maybe the back bend exhale fold inhale halfway lift and on the exhale we'll step the left leg and the right leg back to plank we'll lower down the knees and the chest and the chin heart forward and then we'll slide forward into a low cobra elbows back and then back onto the heels and back into our downward facing dog where we breathe 
stepping each foot forward, come to the top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Bring those palms to press and exhale the hands to the heart down by the sides. Inhale, up, maybe the back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, we'll step those feet back again into that plank position. And we'll lower down knees, chest, chin, heart forward. Slide forward, low cobra. And then back on to the heels and up into downward facing dog. forward exhale left foot forward right foot forward halfway lift exhale fold inhale rise bring the palms to press and exhale the hands to the heart down by the sides of the body inhale up big stretch back bend exhale fold inhale halfway lift on the exhale step the feet back to plank and this time you can lower knees chest and chin or chaturanga upward facing dog and then back into downward facing dog. We're gonna pick things up a bit. So it's your choice if you'd like to do knees, chest, and chin, or you'd like to take that yoga push up. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step forward. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, bring the palms to press, and then exhale those hands to the heart, down by the sides. And we'll inhale the arms up, and we'll exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, and on the exhale, you can plant the palms and hop back to plank if you still wanna make it harder. Chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Don't forget, you can do those knees, chest, and chins if you need the break or take child's pose. Inhale, left leg lifts all the way up and back, and we're gonna bend the left knee and we're just gonna flex the left ankle. Try to stack the left hip on top of the right hip and don't worry about straightening the right leg yet or lowering the right heel. We just want this to feel good. And then looking forward, step that left foot forward, drop the right knee down and sweep the arms up into this crescent lunge. Shoulders are down and we're sinking the hips forward, getting into the hip flexors. Open the arms out wide and then bring them down, flank that front foot, step the right foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise. Bring the palms to press and then exhale the hands to the heart. Inhale, all the way up. Big stretch, back bend. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step hopper, float back, plank to chaturanga or knees, chest and chin. Upward dog. And then exhaling back into downward facing dog. And then on the inhale, the right leg lifts all the way up and back. Bend the right knee and flex through the right ankle. Again, stacking the hips. Maybe drawing the heel closer to the floor. Maybe don't worry about it. You can have a micro bend in that left knee if that feels good. And the right knee lifts. And then looking forward, step the right foot forward, drop the left knee down, sweep the arms forward and up, shoulders down, hip flexors forward, sink into the right knee. And then open those arms out, bend the elbows, lift through the heart. Hands down, flank that foot, step the left foot forward, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, bring those palms to press. Exhale, hands to heart, and then down by the sides. Inhale up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, step, hop, or float, plank to chaturanga or knees, chest and chin, upward facing dog, and exhale back into downward facing dog. And the left leg lifts all the way up and back. Again, bending the left knee, flexing through the left ankle. We'll step that left foot forward, drop the right knee down, sweep the arms up into that crescent lunge. Shoulders down, and then bend the elbows, lift the heart. Bring the hands down to flank the front foot and then just shift the hips back, don't sit low. Straighten the left leg, flex the left toes, and fold over that left leg. And you can use blocks or props here if you need to support the hands. And then lean back into the left knee and step the right foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, rise all the way up. Bring those palms to press and then exhale the hands to the heart down by the sides. Inhale, up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step, hop, float. Maybe right into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bend the right knee, flex through the right ankle. And then right foot forward in between the hands. Left knee down, arms up, crescent lunge, shoulders down, heart lifts. Sink into the right knee. And then open the arms. Bring the hands down, plank the front foot, shift the hips back, straighten the right leg, dorsal flexion through the right ankle, and just fold over the leg. Again, using props beneath the hands if needed. Books are great for this, or cans. And then just looking forward, bend into the right knee, step the left foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Bring those palms to press. Exhale, hands to heart, and then down by the sides. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back. Maybe this time take a little break in knees, chest, and chin. A little cobra. And then onto the heels and into downward facing dog. And you can chaturanga through that if that's what's working for you. Left leg lifts, bend the left knee. And just bring the left knee to the left shoulder or the left elbow. Kick it up and back. Left knee coming forward into the nose. Kick it up and back. Left knee to the right elbow, twist and turn, up and back. And then left foot's gonna step forward in between the hands. Go ahead and reach the arms up and just rotate that back foot down for warrior one, shoulders down. Make sure the right hip is drawing forward and sink into the left knee. Left knee and ankle aligned. Press into the outside edge of the right foot. So squeeze the right glute so that the front leg is not the only thing supporting you and then open the arms into your warrior two turning your hips to face out. If you want, you can tip this back. Don't put too much weight in the back hand. Sink into that left knee and then come back to warrior two. And then go ahead and cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Just step the back foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Bring those palms to press and then exhale the hands to the heart. And down by the sides. Inhale all the way up. Big stretch, back bend if it feels good. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Again, I'm gonna step back and do a knees, chest, and chin here and just be kind to my body. Low cobra. And then back onto the heels for downward facing dog. I'm gonna inhale that right leg all the way up and back. And then I'm gonna draw the right knee toward the elbow or shoulder. All the way up and back. Right knee into the nose, up and back. Right knee, left elbow twist, up and back. And then right foot steps forward, arms come up. Warrior one, back foot rotates down. Again, sinking into the front knee, tucking the tailbone slightly, shoulders relax, heart lifts, maybe the gaze lifts, and we press into the outside edge of that left foot engaging through the left glute and then we open things up into warrior two turning our hips opening things up again the tailbone's tucked and if you want more you can tip this back not too much weight in that left hand and then returning into that warrior two position let's cartwheel those hands down to the floor and step the left foot forward halfway lift exhale fold Inhale, we rise all the way up. Bring those palms to press and then exhale the hands to the heart. We'll just take a moment here to breathe and find peace in our breath, in our practice. fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the feet back into your downward facing dog. And just lower those forearms down to the floor. Try to keep them parallel as we come into our dolphin pose. Lifting through the sitting bones, walk the feet in as close as you can. 
and try to keep the shoulders and the elbows in line, gaze slightly down or forward. Gonna step the feet back slightly, interlace my fingers, and draw my chin in front of my fist. And we'll do a couple dolphin forearm planks here. And lowering the chin in front of the hands, come all the way down onto your belly here. And separate the feet hip distance, bring the arms down by the sides of the body, forehead down. And on the inhale, we're gonna lift everything. So feet up, legs up, chest up, palms facing each other, squeeze the triceps, keep breathing, and then on your exhale, release. You can bring one ear down to the mat. And take as long as you need. And come with me on the inhale. We lift, squeezing everything, palms facing in, triceps squeeze. Everything lifts as much as we can off the floor. And then exhale the opposite ear down. And you can take a little wiggle in the hips. Sometimes this feels good as a resting pose. And then again on the inhale, let's get everything up. And if you want more, you can grab those ankles and lift up into your boat pose. Drawing the knees in towards one another, lifting the heart, getting as much of the belly off the floor as possible, and then release down and just relax and maybe a wiggle of the hips. And then separating the knees wide, sit back onto the heels, child's pose. And remember, this is always available to you whenever you need that break. And then just come back up into your downward facing dog, walk your feet up and just come to a seat and roll all the way onto your back. And we'll prepare here for a bridge pose. We want the lower back down, and we're gonna try to walk those heels in as close to the seat as possible. Arms down by the sides of the body. And on the inhale, we lift our hips up nice and high, maybe rocking onto the tops of the shoulders to get more of the spine off the floor. Try not to look left or right here. It's not good for the cervical spine. We'll keep lifting and pressing into the toes and the heels and the arches of the feet as we lift the glutes. And then on your exhale, you can lower down. And then sometimes you can heel toe the feet out nice and wide and let the knees fall into center, pressing the lower back down. This will be a little release. And then let's do this again. So heels in, hips up. And then squeeze the glutes. Lift the pelvis high on the shoulders. Press into the heels, lift the pelvis, and then come all the way down. Again, heel toeing the feet nice and wide, letting the knees fall into center. Just give you a little release in the lower back. And then we'll prepare for our third bridge, or if you have a wheel in your practice, you can take your hands to your ears. On the inhale, we all lift, so bridge or full wheel. If you're in wheel, try to walk those feet in and lift your heart all the way between the arms. Make sure you breathe. Bridges, squeeze those glutes. Everybody lifts their pelvis. And then on the exhale, we'll lower all the way down to the floor. Hug those knees into the chest for a well-deserved little hug. And you can take a rock back and forth if this feels good for you. Just drop those feet back down to the floor. And we'll send our left leg up and just cross the left ankle over the right knee. And then from here, just interlace the hands below, behind the right knee. And you're gonna flex both ankles. You're gonna roll the hips toward the floor so that as much of the body is on the floor as possible and draw those shoulders all the way down as you draw that knee towards you keeping the ankles flexed, keeping as much of the body on the floor as possible for our supine pigeon pose. And then go ahead and release that foot down to the floor and just drop your knees over to the left. Bring the arms into a cactus or in T position if you have the room. 
and just gaze over the right shoulder for a little spinal twist. And you know when we're on the floor, we're almost done, so that's a good sign. And then just rise back up and drop that foot down to the floor, extend the right leg up, Cross the right ankle over the left knee, flexing through both ankles. Go ahead and reach through, grab behind the left knee, flex both ankles. Again, drawing the hips down to the floor, so getting as much of the body on the floor as possible, drawing the shoulders down to the floor, but still drawing that left knee in towards you. Keep the ankles flexed. And sometimes it feels good to just rock the head gently from left to right. Go ahead and release that left foot down. Drop the knees over to the right. Cactus those arms again. Just gaze over that left shoulder for your spinal twist. just bringing the knees back up. Go ahead and bring the bottoms of the feet to touch. Let the knees fall out to the sides, releasing those hip flexors. You could bring the arms back and grab hold of the wrists or place one palm in the other. You can close your eyes here. down by the sides of the body. Separate the feet wide so that the toes flop out to the sides on their own. Arms are away from the body, not touching the body, so it's like you're floating. Heart is lifted and we come to a comfortable spot on the back of the head. Go ahead and remove your tongue from the roof of the mouth. Relax any tension in the jaw. And separate the teeth. Keep the lips closed, not pursed. And we'll come back to that beginning breath. As we inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Returning to a comfortable breath as we take our final pose and relax. Hugging the knees into the chest and just taking any final movements we may need. We're going to roll onto the right side, remembering that our yoga practice is like life. It's a practice and your life experiences can be just like these poses. Some of them are easy and they're fun. They make us happy, but some are difficult and they cause fear and anger and doubt. But it's how we come into these yoga poses. It's how we come into all of our life experiences that will determine whether we suffer or we grow your choice and you always have that choice when you're ready you can press yourself up into a nice easy seat at the top of the mat with the eyes closed palms together thumbs to the heart thank you for joining me today namaste